I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. It is on permutation with identical elements. The question here is, how many seven digit even numbers less than three million can be formed using all the digits one, two, two, three, six, seven, seven. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's read the question once again. It says, how many seven digit numbers less than three million can be formed using all the digits one, two, two, three, six, seven, seven. Now, when we are looking for digits which, have, which are less than three million and they are even, the starting digits could be the one or two, right? If you start with three, you get a number higher than three million. You have to use all seven at the same time. Even number means the ending numbers could be two or six. So that gives us different cases. So let's take cases one by one. So we have case one in which the starting number and the ending number could be, let us say we start with one and then to make it even you could either end with two or six. So let's take case one where you end with two. Now let's take case two where starting number is again one and ending number this time is not two but six right that will also make it even so starting number we are keeping at one and the ending number is six that makes it even so there are two more cases we could also start with number two so let there be case three in which starting number is two and ending number is also two right so we'll take starting number of two ending number of two right and case 4 will be starting with number 2 and ending with number 6 right so let's start with 2 and end with number 6 so these are four different cases so once we get the permutations for all these four cases then we can add them up right they're exclusive cases they could be added now let's see how to find the permutation for each. Now case 1, so you have 7 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, in which we have fixed the starting number as 1 and the other number as 2. Right, so once we have taken away these numbers from the list, then what are we left with? So we are left with 2, 3, 6, 7, 7. So we are left with combination of 2, 3, 6, 7, 7. So these are the numbers which we are left with. These are five numbers out of which one of them repeats. There are two sevens. And therefore, total number of combinations which can be made with this list will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial since 7 has been repeated right so by 2 factorial so that is the total number which we will get now 5 factorial as you know is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial that will cancel off so we'll left with 5 times 4 times 3 and that is equals to 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 3 is 60. So that is what we get in this particular case. Now in case 2 we again have a combination for 7 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We have fixed first number as 1, the last number as 6. So the numbers which we can work with are if we do not take 1 and 6 which are kept already we are left with 2, 2, 3, 7, 7. So in this particular case again we have five numbers out of which 
there are two numbers which are repeating, right? Twos, two twos and two sevens and therefore this will result into 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial and this is also 2 factorial, correct? So that is half of 60 and that gives you 30 as your result. In case 3, if we start with 2 and end with 2, in that case the list of numbers which we have is 1, 3, 6, 7, 7. 1, 3, 6, 7, 7. These are again 5 numbers. So 5 factorial divided by how many repeats? 2 7, so 2 factorial. 5 factorial by 2 factorial, you can calculate, will be 60. The last case here is set of 7 with 2 and 6 as fixed we need to fill in the numbers which are 1, 2, 3, 7, 7 7, 7 repeats and therefore the combinations of all these will be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial and that is also 60 so in all if you add all the four cases, then the result will be 60 plus 30 plus 60 plus 60, which is 90 plus 60, 150 plus 60, 210. So we'll get 210 even numbers less than 300,000 if all these numbers are taken together right so our answer is 210 so I like you to go through this video once again remember we're talking about permutations with identical elements and as you know the permutations for identical elements will be as shown here whatever elements repeat they will come in the denominator as a factorial right so those combinations are duplicated so we'll take half of those. So take that into consideration while doing such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.